Oh, this beer is a lot of shit. Ugh. I'm drinking that. What are you drinking? It's shit at the bottom. Like, it looks like, you know, after you flush, and the next day you come and it all didn't flush? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's, that's what it looks like. <laughs> Well, welcome back, all episodes fine Svansig, or in America, 22. I'm your host, Chris, my co-host, David. And to Sophia Vergara, Nikola Tesla, Antonio Brown, Jessica Simpson, and Urban Meyer. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Let's make some poor choices. The fridge keeps them pretty cold. That's hot warm. <laughs> Fuck. You should have said, and to Sophia Vagara. Vagara. Sophia Vagara. Vagara. <laughs> your face, yeah, your I face when I said spines, fun. Like you were like, what the fuck is this <laughs> talking about? I know we were doing that again. <laughs> I liked my played off like most people are not in America, but almost everybody listening in America. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> he said, it's funny. Mm-hmm. You gave me the head tilt. You went, what? Because I thought you were about to give me a treat. Ooh. <laughs> Maybe later. <laughs> so we've gotten feedback from the boys, and everyone wants a, uh, a ranking of our favorite Harry Potter movies, but I think we're going to do one better, and I'm going to give you a blind list and you got to rank when I give you random Harry Potter movies where you put them in the realm of one through five. So you're not going to get all eight, but one through five, your top to your bottom. Sound like a plan? It does. All right, David, I want you to blindly rank these five Harry Potter movies. Let's do it. Do it. First one is going to be the prisoner of Azkaban. We'll put it at three. Wow. That's kind of fitting since it's the third movie. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Um, I'm going to give you at number two, the order of the Phoenix. We'll put, ah, uh, where are you going? We'll put that at four. Number four says David. Yes. Okay. I'm going to give you the deathly hollows part one. We, hmm. We'll put that at two. Number two, number two. And your fourth, I'm going to give you chamber of secrets. We'll put that at five, five, huh? And your yeah. last one, Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone. <laughs> <laughs> we'll put that at six. <laughs> <laughs> you bastard. I know. I, did, I didn't want to give you the obvious ones. <sighs> I wanted to make it more of a pick your favorite out of maybe if I had to guess some of my least favorites. Well, you could have said three other ones. Yeah. And they would have been fine at, at number one. Yeah. Well, I, I don't so know. you have lit- you have literally one, two, three, like four of my bottom five. That was that was what I was going for. Was uh, yeah, I wanted it to be yeah. the, the base, the base <laughs> of the of the 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 list there, and see how you ranked them. Hmm. Um, so what what would be your your true ranking if you had to pick a favorite down to all the way eight? Well, number one is going to be the Goblet of Fire. I think we've so we're had that yeah, discussion definitely in agreement there. Times. Absolutely, it's just it's like the that's like the turn. That's where, and it's got it's, it's like got the, everything in it. Yeah, it's like the shift from like kid movie to adult movie. A thousand percent, a thousand percent. You now things things start getting a little dark. You know, Voldemort's back. It's just like at the end of that movie, it's like oh shit, it's real. Do 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 do. Yeah. yeah. Plus, plus, uh, fucking Edward dies. Well, so. that was the music that they play when like his body lays yeah. back and the the band's playing, and then so yeah, like yeah. that's just like the cherry on top. <laughs> but what's your number? Yeah. So goblet. Yeah. Goblet number one. Uh, number two probably half blood. Oh wow. Okay. Okay. I think I think probably half blood. We're different there. How about three? Three. I'm gonna go with. Probably Azkaban. That is also my third favorite, if I had to pick. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's, I feel like two, three, and four for me are... Well, let's see. If your four is my two, de- then we're dependent. good. Um, I have Deathly Hallows Part 2 that is, as my number four. That's my number two. Okay. So Yeah. So that, that, whole, that whole stretch there, I feel like, 
is solely dependent on my mood. Okay. So right now that's that's it. That's my list. But tomorrow, you know, maybe maybe I'll like part two more than mm-hmm. than Azkaban. Mm-hmm. Um from there, probably part one. We're in agreement. I also have part one there at my fifth favorite. Okay. Mm-hmm. Wow. And then we might have the same order here, except for that one. Same order of uh, the Phoenix. That's my, ne- that's that's my, my next one. That's my next yeah, one. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh huh. That's my sixth. Yeah. Yeah. And then, and then, uh, two and then one chamber and, and sorcerer's so stone. I have those flopped. I have sorcerer's stone and then I have chamber at the bottom. Okay. My, my biggest thing with sorcerer's stone is that a, it's kids movie, you know, the, it's a kid's movie, but I think more so that it, it could be a movie in and of its own. Like that could have been a movie. There could have been a little bit of a cliffhanger and sure, that's it. Sure. Like no series, just, just that. Sure. So, um, you know, once you get to the rest of them, obviously there's precursors and, you know, more so cliffhangers as the story grows. But yeah, number one, it's just like, oh, that was a cool movie. And then they could have never made another one and you'd have been good. Yeah. I get the point there for sure. So, yeah. Yeah. Okay. So we were pretty darn but, close. What's your reasoning for, uh, Having those two flip flopped. Um, I don't know. I think there's just more scenes and moments in one that stand out in my head than two. Um, like one just built that world for me. Um, especially when they're actually in the chamber and going through all the, the trials and just remembering it from the book. Cause I was right. And then seeing it on screen and, um, I don't know. Chamber just it brought your, brought your imagery to life. It did. So sort of like a, uh, it's a word I'm looking for here. I don't know. Well, but I think I've told basically everything you ever imagined. Yeah, they did a good job. It was very kind of made real for it you. Did. Yeah, I think I remember telling you about when I I got home from school one day and my dad said, "Hey, I, I bought um the Harry Potter movie," and I was like, "Dad, that's gay. <laughs> like that's a <laughs> that's a kids movie. I don't want to watch that. That's no, that's dumb." And then I remember watching yeah. it going, "Okay," because I got read the first book in fifth grade it was like end of the day teacher would always read for like 30 minutes or something like that like yeah to, like to end the day um and she read us chamber of secrets and i from what i remember enjoyed that, so you it. got that read before you read the first this one? was yeah this was when the, or you read the first one no this is when chamber of secrets or i'm sorry sorcerer stone like came out she read us chamber of secret or, so she, or sorcerer stone oh my goodness she read us the first book yes okay um okay and i i definitely remember like being into it sitting in class all indian style um which is weird because i feel like that last 30 minutes at the end of the day as a kid you're like i'm so ready to fucking go home and, <laughs> and eat fudge rounds and and fucking play nintendo no that like no nintendo it's the fact it's, that you can oh, focus you're home from on school, go outside yeah well whatever you were gonna do that's uh-huh. all you're thinking about but so the fact that you could be that in tune while she's reading yeah and then when he got the movie and i was like ooh, dad i'm like 13 i that's 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 really gay (laughs) i remember saying that's gay to my dad (laughs) that's gay Uh yeah um Uh, but then we we watched it and i was like okay all right i'm not gonna tell my friends i liked it but i liked it yep (laughs) yeah i'll let them tell me first yep yep. and then if they say it all i'll be like yeah it was all right so we were pretty darn close there so goblet hands down yeah Mm -hmm. i don't think there's ever a mood i'm in where that's i might not be in the mood to watch it first all the time but sure m- maybe because i have watched it so many more times than the other ones well there it is so you boys leave your comments what you got what you want you wanted it there it is here for you i remember my uh so i actually got the second book first my grandmother got it for me and i read it and then i think i was like i like this and then she got me the first one mm. so i read the Why first two just backwards the f- first i don't i don't know I'm not sure. Maybe the second one just I, the came second out. One might have just and it came was popular. Out. Yeah. And she was like, "Oh, the kids." That's love what I'm this. thinking. Right. Yeah, or, you know, maybe she didn't know that it was like it was probably you walk into Barnes and Noble and it was like on the table. Yeah, because it just came out, kind of thing. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, and I so I remember that, and I remember I used to say Hermione's name, like reading it in the book. It was Hermione. Okay. Yeah. Because so I was like, I don't fucking I've never <laughs> seen a name like this. Yeah, I remember. It was, yeah. I remember, yeah. And then for the movie, <laughs> I'm just, it's taking me back. And then for the movie, I remember 
uh, Robert took us all out to dinner at like a Sakura style, like Japanese steakhouse. Mm-hmm. Um, it was like me, me, mom, Jenna, Megan, Thomas, the whole gang. And I want to say maybe his sister and his sister's kids. And then after dinner, we went and saw the first movie. Oh, in theater. Yeah. Oh, nice. And then after that, I was like, fuck. All yeah. right, I'll do this. Yeah. And it didn't change even in high school. It was like, Oh, half blood. No, it got worse. Uh, yeah. We started doing midnight showings uh-huh, and uh-huh. Yeah, dressing up. Yeah. 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 And there was, uh, do you remember? I want to say you were part of it. Or maybe it was just me and maybe it was just me and Mike and Josh. I remember it was in, it was in eighth grade because we all had, you know, those same classes together. Right. And we were, we would like always yell spells at each other during class. And then, like, we would, like, our homework for each other that night was to, like, go home and watch the movie so, so we had more spells to bring back the next I day. I think I was, because I am remembering having a piece of paper in my, like, dresser at home with, like, spells I had written yeah. down. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, it was probably, so it was probably the classes that I had with you, we did that, and then the classes I had with them, we did it, too. And it wasn't, like, the main ones. It was, like, all the little ones. Yeah. Uh-huh. That's funny. Yeah. I think, like, I definitely remember writing down spells and not knowing how to spell them, but I knew what I meant, yeah. but I knew what I meant by them. You knew how to sound it. Yeah, <laughs> right, exactly. Right. Yeah. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. So here's a, here's a trivia for you. Okay. Do you know what, in the movies, do you know what the first spell is that's ever said? Um, does Dumbledore say a spell when he's taking the lights? He doesn't. He does not. Um... Let's think. When do they actually say a spell in the first movie? Is it Oculus for Paro? Nope. Is it before that? Oh, I guess it is. Duh. It's before that. Um. <laughs> <laughs> if you didn't say that, I'd, it would have went right over my head. Um, let me think. I'm trying to go through the movie here. Um, Snake comes out of the glass, but he doesn't actually say a spell. He's just speaking parcel tongue. Or does he say a spell to make the glass? No, he doesn't. Okay. Uh, and then Hagrid shows up. Does Hagrid say a spell whenever? He, no, he just makes him a tail and a fire. And um, and then I could give you is a there, clue. Is it Ron? But... Does Ron say it? Yes. Is it turn this fat rat yellow? Yes, it is. And then Hermione says, "That's not bad. yes." My I was my yeah. my clue was going to be as seconds before your guess. Yeah, the sunshine, the sunshine daisies, daisies buttermello, turn your stupid fat rat yellow. Yeah, yeah. Okay. That's the first, and it doesn't, which was like the first uh, foreshadow because it doesn't turn the rat yellow because it's not, it's not a rat. A rat. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's also Ron doing it, so you know. Okay. Well, yeah, that's true. <laughs> okay, I'm happy yeah. with that. Um, yeah, is that all they wanted us to to do? Was just that's rank them? What I got out of it was, I mean, we could we could talk about Harry Potter all day. That's right. This could be the Harry Potter cast. <laughs> we'll have to just live stream us watching it. I, it would be pretty boring. I wouldn't be saying much. <laughs> Although we could, uh, every now and then I'd be like, hell yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we could just, our poor choices could be some butter beer and actually uh, you know what it would be. Some fire whiskey. No, it would just be me and you just saying the lines before the lines happen. Yeah. That's all it would be. <laughs> That's true. I was talking to someone about that recently. They were like, you like Harry Potter? And I was like, let's just say that if we were to watch it together, you'd be watching me and not not the movie yeah, you'd be yeah. telling me to shut up the entire time yeah i showed somebody at work my um coffee table that you made me and they were like yeah that's the coolest thing i've ever seen i was like yeah <laughs> was like yeah it's pretty awesome <laughs> you'll have to send me a picture so i can post that on here yeah it's um it's so it's a custom made um resin coffee table uh made of elder wood with an elder wand in it um it has my patronus after you know you can go online and take the test of your patronus it has that coming out of the wand um, and then the top half of it is a map of the Hogwarts grounds. And then the bottom half is a Voldemort quote and the Slytherin logo. I'm a Slytherin house for those. Listen. Um, yeah. Go green. <laughs> go green. <laughs> go green. Go green. I like it. That's funny. Yeah. Well, uh, maybe, maybe we'll circle back into some HP stuff. Maybe we could try to like reference everything we talk about this episode back into Harry Potter. I'll try my best. Okay. Okay. Well, in a, a horribly transitional <laughs> uh, fashion. Yes. Um, I wanted to see if you could tell me 
the top five countries that drink the most beer and the top five countries that drink the least beer. Okay. Um, and this is the way it's listed is per capita in liters. Okay. I'm going to go with the USA for most. They are not top 10. I'm going to go with India. They are not top 10. I'm going to go China. I'm just thinking they of the most are not populated top 10. countries. Okay. All right. Um, well, then let's go Germany. <laughs> uh, okay. They're number five. So I'm asking you top five, but I have the top 10. Okay. Germany's number five. Uh, Germany's number five. Belgium? No Belgium. No Belgium. Um, Poland? Poland is number four. Four. Okay. Um, Russia? No Russia. Are they are in, all in Europe? Uh, you know better than to ask me these questions. Come on. Uh, so <laughs> full disclosure, one of them I've like heard of a couple times in my life <laughs> and that's it. I don't know. Okay. Um, where, where or what? Hold on. I'm getting, I'm getting new locations here. Uh, Germany, Poland. So yeah, two of them are Europe. Let me. Two remaining are Europe. Yeah. And one is Africa. Okay. Oh, really? Um, South Africa? Not South Africa. Um, the African one's the one that I've like heard of, but if you were to say this word, I wouldn't be like, oh yeah, that's a country. I'd be like, what kind of animal is that? Um, Mozambique. Not Mozambique. I know that one. Um, I'm going to get off Africa. So two are in Europe. Uh, Sweden. Not Sweden. Finland. Not Finland. Norway. Not Norway. Denmark. Not Denmark. Let me see if I can give you like a beer from there. Uh, oh, England. Not England. Really? Ireland. Not Ireland. Um, France. Not France. Belarus. Not Belarus. Romania. Romania is number six. Uh, Latvia. Latvia is number 10. Um, Bulgaria. Not Bulgaria. Ukraine. Not Ukraine. Uh, Austria. <laughs> It is Austria. Austria is number three. Damn it. Okay. Uh, Switzerland. That's uh, not Switzerland. So let me okay. we'll backtrack here. So uh, per capita, Germany's 5.28 liters. Poland's 5.52 liters. Austria's 5.88 liters. Okay. Italy. Not Italy. Um, what's next? Let me see if I can geographically give you. Yeah, I need clues. I'm trying to go through. I don't know. Um, so uh, that clue will give it away. I said Denmark, right? Yeah. So uh, we talked about them. This thing's hitting my face. <laughs> talked about them the other day. They also border Austria. I said Switzerland, right? They did. Uh, oh, they do border Austria. Look at that. Mm. So they, they are smack dab in the middle of Germany, Poland, and Austria. In the middle. Germany. Poland's up here. Wait, in the middle? Because Austria is down south of Germany, right? And then Poland's like northeast of Germany. Yep. And there's something that is in the middle of all of them. Turkey? It is not Turkey. What's right there? Uh, Mozart lived here. I already said Belgium, right? You did. Mozart was. What was Mozart? But well, if I tell you, that's. Did I say. Think of uh, our viewership. Oh, Czech Republic or Czechia. There, there you go. Yeah, the Czech Republic. They're at 6.3 liters per capita. At number two? At number two. And number one's a African country? It is. What's it start with? A G. Ghana. Nope. Uh, a G? Correct. It is uh, a G. I don't even know how to. In Africa. <laughs> A clue that won't help whatsoever is that they rank 112th in the Human Development Index. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, it's defined, well, it's described, or it's whatever, as one of the wealthiest countries in Africa in terms of per capita income, which I guess is why they can purchase so much alcohol. The G, that's really throwing me off. I told you, dude, I don't even know this thing was a thing. What's Prime Minister Raymond Ndong Sima. <laughs> What's the next letter after G? An A. There's only like 53 want, countries that I got to go through here. Um, do you want the capital, maybe? Yeah, give me the capital, sure. Uh, Lieberville. Yeah, it didn't help. 
Sounds like something Dr. <laughs> Seuss came up with. <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't think so. Cindy Lou Who lives over there. Uh, we need to do a whole episode about this place. There's two point, about 2.4 million people that live there. G-A. Yeah. Let me see what kind of information it, CIA.gov has to give you. Is it any kind of like the something of this or like the Republic of that or like, no, nope. it's just like one, just, just the word thing. Just one thing. It's next to the democratic Republic of the Congo. So it's in the middle of, well, I guess it's next to the Republic of Congo. I didn't know those were two different things, but it's like in the middle of the con- of the continent. Um, like it's not on the ocean. Laterally. Yes. Is it on the ocean? It's yes, but it is also in the middle. It's not Ghana. So it would be, think like, think Tampa. Like it's the middle of the state, but it's also on the, on the water. Coast. Gampa. Actually, if, <laughs> if Africa was shaped like Florida, it would be exactly where Tampa is for the most part. A little north. What was your guess? Gampa. <laughs> Gampa. No. Like Tampa, but. Yeah. <laughs> Gamp- Gampa Bay? I got nothing, dude. G-A? Okay, what's the next letter? A B. A B? Yep. <laughs> uh, Gabriel. Uh, it's going to be like 14 shorts. <laughs> What's the next letter? <laughs> An O. Gabal? <laughs> <laughs> like the terrorist organization? Uh, ga- Gabba Gabba? G- Yo, Gabba Gabba. G-A-B-O? O. Gabo. <laughs> you, want one more? you want one more letter? Yeah. An N. Gavin. That's it. Good job. You got it. <laughs> the fuck? How is it not like Austria or Germany, but it's Gavin, Africa? Uh, I don't know. 6.37 liters per capita. G-A-B-O-N? I'm glad. I'm just glad I'm not the only one that... I've never heard of Gavin. It's right. It's not small, dude. It's right there. Right on the, right on the coast. You got an ugly ass South flag. of Cameroon. Oh, that's all you had to say. I would have got it. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> you just said Equatorial Guinea before you said Gabon. They got an ugly flag. Ugh. Yeah, it's not. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Well, uh, do you want to do you want to take a stab at the countries that drink the least amount of wow. alcohol? Uh, yeah. Oh, well, I was looking at their flag real quick. If you know off the top of your head, what's the only country that doesn't have red, white, or blue in its flag in the whole world? The only one. Uh, you've asked me this. Oh, I have. I don't. I don't remember the uh, uh, Jamaica. There's not red. No, they're green, yellow, and black. Oh, that's right. Jamaica's got a bobsled team. <laughs> <laughs> you make that one up? No, it's from Cool Runnings, dude. You never seen that with the Jamaican bobsled team? It's a Nickelodeon uh, movie. I haven't. I've seen it. Oh, okay. But, um, hold on, stand by before you guess the least. Before you guess the least, I have uh, a correction here. It's not Gabba. Go Gabba Gabba. So I'm trying to. Uh, Figure out what this is a good idea. This article's not very informative, but it's titled Jamaica is one of only two current national flags that do not include red, white, or blue. Oh, there's, oh. there's two. I thought yeah. they were the only one. Uh-huh. Yeah. Um, is it another like yeah. island nation? You're never gonna you're never gonna get it. Yeah, let me uh I don't want to underestimate your geographical abilities. It's another it's another African country. Hmm. Um Tanz- this one Tanzania. Would be, no, it starts with an M. Mozambique. <laughs> no. You're not going to get it, I don't think. Um, is it it's Mike, uh, Mike, Micro uh, something? Nisha? No, that's an island. Oh, yeah, you're right? right. Yeah, yeah. All right, I'll give you descriptive properties of the geography. and Madagascar? See if that helps. Put that, put that fucking map away. No, I'm not even on that. But Madagascar? All right. It's not. Okay. It's uh, south of the Western Sahara, south. West of Algeria, west of Mali, north of Guinea, north of Senegal. What's it rhyme with? <laughs> uh, that Red Hot Chili Pepper song, Santeria, maybe Margarita. Montenegro, uh, me, many Minestrone. No, I'm just, I'm just gonna give <laughs> yeah, it to go you. Ahead. It's, it's Mauritania. Yeah, never, not in a million years. Yeah, I didn't think so. Um, I wouldn't even have gotten Mali to be honest. Wait, that flag's got red in it. Does it? Unless they changed it. What's the name of it? Uh, M-A-U-R-I-T-A-N-I-A. 
Oh, uh, I see. Okay. Yep. So it's the same. It just doesn't have the red. Well, do you want to embarrass yourself guessing these bottom five or? Yeah. Bottom five least amount of beer drinking countries. Yeah. And they're one through four is 0. 0.01 liters per capita. How many of them have you heard five of? Is 0. 0.02. Um, regularly two. Okay. Um, one of them, I don't think ever. And two of them I've heard of, but. Okay. Uh, the fa- forgotten the, about the Falkland Islands. No, not them. Nah, they should be on there. Um, sorry. Sri Lanka. Nah, it's not on there. Not Sri Lanka. It's gotta be one of these really tiny little fucking island nations out in the middle of the Pacific. Um, maybe I, you think? It's got to be somewhere where there's like not else, a lot of people. What else is there to do out there? But there's like, well, no, because it's per capita. So, oh it's, yeah, if there's ten people, then they all, you know. Um, um but I will find out where they are. The Vatican, not the Vatican. Hmm. They got, I got all kind of wine in there, dude. That's not beer. This is alcohol. Oh, okay. Oh no, 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 no. No, you're right. It's a so technically, it's countries that drink the least ethanol from beer per capita in liters. So yeah, I guess it is beer. Hmm. Can I just like pull up a world map? Is that cheating? Uh, no, I don't think so. Unless I start giving you clues. World. So number one is presumably a small island based on what this has given me. Okay. Um, Ethiopia. Not Ethiopia. Bolivia. Not Bolivia. Mm, Papua New Guinea. Not Papua New Guinea. North Korea. <laughs> Not North Korea. Hmm. <laughs> Cyprus. Nope. Jordan. Nope. Syria. Syria is number four. Okay. Nice. Jordan's number 10. So for, for the remaining four, two of them are very close together, and the other two are very close together. Costa Rica. Not Costa Rica. San Sal- uh, El Salvador. Neither. Are any of them in South America? No. Afghanistan. No, there's two... No, there's two Asia. Laos. Now, I feel, I feel like we're getting to the cheating stages. <laughs> no Laos. Um, Cambodia. Not Cambodia. Burma. Nope. Uh, nah, I got nothing. Give them to me. Uh, I just want to see where this one is. Part of Oceania. So Oceania is Australia, right? Uh, yeah, we, it's over there. We kind of... It's over yeah, that Papua okay. New Guinea, Malaysia... Yeah. Philippines. So number one is Tuvalu. <laughs> Tuvalu. <laughs> sure. Which is very close to number two, which is Tonga. Mm. Okay. Number three is Bangladesh. Okay. Interesting. And number five, the one I hadn't heard of, is but- Bhutan. 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 Yeah, sure. Yeah. So I get Bhutan a lot on um because I play a lot of GeoGuessr. Do you ever play that game? No. They, like, drop you in the middle of any random location in the world, but only on, they only give you Google Maps Street View, and you have to guess what country you're in. Or you can even pick specifically where you're at in that country. That sounds like a a cop off this game I heard a long time ago that, I think it was just, like, on Facebook or something, this dude said he used to play. He was like, uh, you can go to, like, Google Maps and hit, like, random location. And he said, I, my goal is to get to an airport. Like, I'm lost in another country, I gotta get uh, okay. home, so I have to find my way to an airport. So this one's, Just using, like, Street View. And this one's more along the lines of, like, you have to play off of, like, you know, the foliage, and what side of the road are they driving on, and what kind of license You plates. said foliage? Foliage, foliage, foliage. Foliage, foliage. there you go. <laughs> foliage. Um, <laughs> I'm like, damn, I do need foil. So you can kind of, sort of, it's such a fun game. I love it. I love it. Yeah, it's, yeah that's good. It's so good. So I've gotten Bhutan a few times because it's like, I don't know where I'm at. So I just guess a random place and it's like, it's Bhutan, this fucking place I've never heard of. Okay, cool. Um, okay, well. Well, I'm assuming you didn't come past any bars while you were on your endeavors to figure out where you were because they don't drink a whole lot there. No. So, well, speaking of drinking, <laughs> what are you drinking? <laughs> That was as smooth as sandpaper, dude. All right. Uh, <laughs> I've got, um, I actually kind of went off the rails a little bit this week, and I got a tropical IPA. And that's episode 2022, 20, guys. We'll see you uh, next time. <laughs> it's a, 
Lagunitas Island Beats, which says it has refreshing, juicy notes, 5%. It is out of Petaluma, California. It's got a little puppy dog on the front there. Hmm. So I've heard of Lagunitas, but I guess I never like associated them as a brewery because you always go to the bar and you see like Lagunitas IPA. Like I, I think I always thought that that just was the beer. Oh, it was just a Lagunitas. Yeah. Yeah. So it's a juicy citrus IPA, which it's pretty light in color. It's kind of yellowy, but it's got a lot of uh, dingleberries hanging down at the bottom here. A lot of, a lot of P and A down there. And I'm going to drink it. It's okay. It does have that IPA hoppiness to it, like that Edie mulch kind of flavor. Right. But also citrusy. Oh, I'd give it like a six and a half. I'm probably going to just have the one. <laughs> <laughs> huh. It's, well, uh, it's for okay. anybody that listened last week, um, they know that today's a doubler. So was your, was your hope like, oh, I'll drink a, a few mimosas, maybe it'll be able to tolerate an IPA. Well, what it really was, was you remember when I sent you, oh, it, it might, it would have had to have been a Wawa trip. Um, when I thought that, we were recording that's what Thursday. It ended up being. So, well, I had already bought it and I was like, cause I thought it was going to happen. And yeah. so I could not drink it. So that's what we're drinking. Uh, mm-hmm. hmm. Yeah, it's okay. Interesting. It might be, I might have to add it to my, um, do not drink list <laughs> pile that I'm slowly collecting mm. in the fridge. You're, you're, <laughs> <laughs> your your cooking cooking yeah. only donated to Goodwill yeah. or something. I don't know. <laughs> Ooh, I don't know if they take that. <laughs> How about you? Can you redeem us from a six five? Ah, uh, six two. <laughs> six two. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I don't think that's hard to. I could go grab a Michelob out of the. That's that's what I'm going to grab next <laughs> out of the fridge, and I think I think we'd beat a six five. Yeah, so I went with that one that we I had sent you a couple of weeks ago that uh parade throw. Oh yeah, that looked good. Um the king cake inspired cream ale. Mm. Which as we discussed, I was not aware was even a thing. Um by Oh, the Fat Tuesday by? cake oh. thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's by Hidden Springs Ale Works, so we're Damn, familiar dude. with them. We're all over their stuff. We are. We need to get sponsored. Mm-hmm. Um Ariel Katarina. Oh, I guess that's probably who did the can art, but tis what it looks like. Yeah, some Mardi Gras, Fat Tuesday cake. Find the toy in the cake and you win or something like that. Yeah. Um, it's not bad. It's not as like in your face flavor as I was expecting. Okay. Um, it's kind of hard to, I guess, associate it with what the cake would taste like. It's like more light beerish than it is cream. Hmm. Okay. But it's not bad. It's it's more refreshing, and I was expecting more like fucking cake. And it's not a it's not a sour beer, or it is a sour beer. No, it's a it's a cream cream ale. Cream ale. Okay. But um, we'll give it a. Uh, I don't want to overdo it, but I don't want to underdo it. We'll do like a seven nine five. Oh, it's pretty darn good. Yeah. Okay. Nice. It, well, it could probably qualify for more, but I think uh, just being underwhelmed with the flavor. Not the flavor, but uh, like the strength of the flavor mm-hmm. kind of thing. I'm kind of jealous. Kind of jealous. Well, yeah. Well, you bought an IPA, so I don't know what to tell you. It's almost gone. Just one can. It's, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. It's, um, I feel like I'm just, did this. I jumped into the bushes with my mouth open. Yeah. Like, that's what I'm drinking right now. Well, I got nothing. Yeah. So, going back with the back-to-back Baltimore shirts, huh? What you mean, back to back Baltimore shirts? It's a jersey, my guy. It's a shirt. It goes over your torso. That's my boy. He's the best player in baseball. Is it though? Uh, he's up there. He's probably top three. Probably Otani mm. and Mike Trout. Yeah, maybe Aaron. I was going to say those are. I was going to say those are probably the the two that I would for not following as much as I used to. I would go with those two. I th- he was in first with home runs this year. He might be in second now. Does that make you the best player though? Um, he's up there. Top five. We'll we'll call him top five. He's definitely in, his name is definitely up there for just regular MVP for sure. Okay. Hi, everyone. I just wanted to take a second to ask that you all hit those like and subscribe buttons. Or if you're an audio listener, go ahead and give the guys five stars. Thanks for listening. Now back to the Poor Choices show. How does a cat like its steak? Rawr done. 
Where? No. <laughs> <laughs> thought you might like that one yeah that's like the um um uh oh my gosh um what did the fox say a, what's an italian dj's favorite pasta sauce oh yeah i like that one marinara you want me to play dumb marinara <laughs> marinara and then what did what did he name his son who the italian guy or just the dj yeah uh i think you told me that one but i don't remember eric uh, that's right <laughs> I like it. I like it. I like it. It's good. All right, move into what you got. I feel like I've um, had this whole thing. Let me move into. And I also feel like I'm going to move into. I feel a like new we beer. haven't. <laughs> I feel like we haven't referenced anything back to Harry Potter. <laughs> yeah, no, we haven't. I, mean, I, I honestly right. forgot about that. I'm going to move into a new yeah, something that's good. Well, I got a I got another blind rank for you, but God, hopefully it's better and you don't you're not out to get me. So I want you to blind rank these things, just general things. Okay. Okay. Uh, first one is finding money. Is there a, a dollar amount attached to that? Let's say like fifty and above, fifty bucks and above. And a well, how about below? Because then above leaves. Okay, below. Okay. Um, God, are you a dick, or are you gonna <laughs> help me out here? <laughs> uh, like, is the next one gonna be like a bathroom trip after Chipotle? Or? I'll say they're all good things. Okay, then I'll put that at four. Four, okay. Um, Christmas. Ooh, it's not much better than Christmas. You know what? I'm going to do it. I'm going, I'm going one. Oh, 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 oh no. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> My next one was birth of your first child. <laughs> oh, no. Although, they'll hmm. be included in Christmas. <laughs> yeah, because that encompasses... Like your child's first Christmas, I guess. But yes, well, I gotta go too. Yeah, you gotta go too there. Um, how about or air- zero? I guess. How about air conditioning? Three. And last one is Cowboys winning the Super Bowl. Okay, five. Mm. That's I honestly, that's uh, you know, other than the obvious swapping one and two. Um, no, I feel like I think I think, sw- I think you'd take Cowboys winning over finding twenty bucks. Yeah, I was going to say swap four and five, but other than that, mm-hmm. the list is it's good. Okay, okay. Like I said, they were just like <laughs> super random things. <laughs> but as soon as you yeah. said, I'm going to do it, I was like, oh. <laughs> well, based on your track record. See, but here's the thing is. Giving me, giving me things like uh, but fucking some, but sometimes Sorcerer's it, Stone and, and shit like uh, one of your friends hooks up with like your mom or something at your wedding. or. But sometimes I nice you. Every now and then I don't, though. Yeah, sometimes. So, see, listen. It's it's better that way. So it's fifty fifty. You never know what you're getting into. You got to you got to play it yeah. the right way. You just wait till I get you. <laughs> hey, we're twenty two in. I mean, hey, yeah. <laughs> hey, at least I haven't like the first few episodes. I was like David, uh, <laughs> geography. Yeah, name uh, <laughs> name every country in Asia. <laughs> right, right. Yeah, the first few episodes, I was like, damn. Yeah, name thirty <laughs> countries that start with a P. Right. Like what the fuck? Right. <laughs> 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 Wait, this whole idea was, hey, let's start like an entertaining podcast. And you went, okay, let me expose you for everything you don't know. Okay. <laughs> this was really funny. <laughs> I'm not, I'm not mad at it. I mean, I could, we could turn around and I could, I could give you some, I, you know, it's going to be bad, but I could give it to you. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, okay. Well, I want you to blind rank these uncomfortable situations. Mm-hmm. Number one being the most uncomfortable. Number five being the least uncomfortable. Yeah. Okay. And I don't think any of them are like super bad because I think they're all chat GPT generated. But uh, all right. So number one's the worst. Number five's the least worst. Yeah. So the first one will go with making a joke that offends someone. It's not that bad because I don't really care. So I'm going to put that at. What if what if it offends your mother? She'll get over it. it. Yeah. Okay. I'll put it at two. Put it at two. Mm-hmm. That was very contrary to what you said. Oh, is you, it the other way? Yeah. Oh, okay. So I'll put it at four. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay. All right. Uh, the next one's going to be getting caught staring at someone. I don't care. Uh, five. Yeah, I don't care. I Mr. actually chat GPT. Like I'll, I'll like I'll look at somebody like like I'll look over like you're sitting at a red light and like you look over. And like you, I just yeah, kind of give them that look, and then they look back at, at you, and then just I don't break. I'm just like, mm. hmm. you break first. Um, 
<laughs> I guess you both broke. You're sitting at a stop sign. Or every now and then you could throw in like a what? Like just like a like a what? Like what are you looking at? And then, they're, and then they go, oh, 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 oh. I'm not looking at anything. <laughs> um, all right. The next one is when you run into someone that you've known for a long time, but you don't remember their name. Oh, not a fan of that. I'm going to put that at two because then you got to go with the, hey, they say your name. And then you're like, hey, you person that I know very well. And it's so good to see you and yada, yada. Yeah, I'm not. A I told fan. you about the time that happened to me, right? I don't think so. I think so. I did. You might have. I came home. I think I don't know if I was still in the military. Um, I went up to have lunch with someone and it turned out to be Matt. And I saw him at this. It was like a, I don't remember, some kind of like little restaurant, like a metro kind of place. Mm -hmm. And he was talking, and I like, couldn't concentrate on what he was saying because the entire, I'm like, who are you? Like, yeah. I know you, but what is your name? So you're just nodding and going, uh huh, uh huh. Yeah. I'm like, who? Yeah. 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 It, it was like a month later. Well, I, I was like laying in bed and I'm like, oh, fuck, that's who it was. David, I'll tell you, in my line of work, I get it quite often. Chris, how are you? And I'm like, hey. <laughs> well, that's, that's like, Probably I'm, just like regulars, right? Well, and maybe like past employees of mine. Uh, well, yeah, that's understandable. And I'm like, you go through so many. Ah, yeah. You're so good to see you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> How are things? How was that thing that you were going to do? Was it good? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. <laughs> uh, all right. Uh, the next one is being at a friend's house as an adult and them and their partner are having an argument. Eh. Yeah, right. Three. All right. And the last one is when you swallow water wrong and it turns into coughing in 2020. Uh, I'm, yeah. That would have been like at like 42, <laughs> but I'll put it at one. Sure. You're not allowed to, you're not allowed to cough during COVID, dude. Yeah. You ever see that meme? It was like, like pre 2020, you would, you would cough to mask a fart. Right. Like right. In, in 2020, and, you and fart to fart mask to a cough. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh huh. Uh huh. So true. Uh. So true. Right, well, we'll see if that makes it in the video. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see. Cause, well, I know you wanted to try to fuck me over, but why don't you try to see if you can name some of my favorite things? How's that sound? Manner. Uh, just general general topics and or areas of... So, like, uh, you're giving me a topic and I got to guess your favorite thing in that? Yeah, and I think you're going to get okay. almost all of them, if I had to guess. Okay. Favorite we'll movie. See. Because we just talked about it. So, favorite movie? Well, per you, Shawshank. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. okay. um, favorite artist and or band? Queen. Queen. Correct. Um, this one probably won't get. Um, favorite book? Not Harry Potter. It's not Harry Potter. Um, There's only one of them. It was made into a movie, and I also love the movie. I think Nickelodeon made the movie. Now I think about it. Uh, I know why the cage bird sings. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that has Nickelodeon written all over it. <laughs> um, but once a book turned into a movie, right? And I think I gave you that book. I think you still have that. You book. did. I still got it somewhere, <laughs> somewhere around here. Um, it was Holes. Holes is my yeah. Favorite book. Oh well, you didn't let me. Oh shit! I knew it wasn't fucking Maya Fuck. Angelou. Shit. Sorry. Uh, no, that was Disney though, not Nickelodeon. Mm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, favorite video game? Red Dead Dose Two. Yes, sir. Uh, color. I want to say red. You would think because my car is red, but it's definitely not. Red. Yeah, that's probably where I'm being thrown off. Um, hmm. Well, think about the college team that I liked growing up. Yeah, that's and and the and college I, I went to. <laughs> no, I was going back to uh your your house. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. Team Team Green. Mm -hmm. Team Green for sure. Um, how about my favorite food? Just in a general hmm. general sense, not specific dish, but. Like, uh, like a, as in this food can be made into a lot of things. I still don't know if I'm going like chicken here or if I'm going like Mexican <laughs> or Mexican chicken. Who knows? Oh, yeah. Well, that's <laughs> like Mexican can be a lot of things and chicken can be made into a lot of things. Yeah. Um, you definitely will have this dish guaranteed <clears throat> at Thanksgiving and Christmas Day. made out of this. <sighs> But it's not that specific make ham of Pork? this item. Is that where you're going? No, think of it more of a. It's more of a side. 
Potatoes. Potatoes. Oh, yeah. It's your favorite food? Yeah, dude. Thousand percent. If I had okay. to pick, mashed. Mashed potatoes would probably be my all-time favorite food. Yeah. Um, how about my favorite athlete of all time? That's a good question. Um, I'm going football somewhere with the Rams. Baseball, I'm leaning to Frank. Um, I'm trying to give you a clue, but you're not looking. Oh, uh, no. Oh, Cal. Cal. Yeah, we knew this. <laughs> we knew this. Come on now. It's like I loved, I Jesus. loved, I loved Frank Thomas. I did, but Cal, yeah, Cal was the man. That's right. Uh, you, had to, that, you had to let me work, work my way through it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, you started saying Kurt and the Rams. I was like, oh no. So I started giving you the little. Um, well, I was, I was going through sports. Dream, okay. Dream car or favorite car of all time? Uh, Eleanor. No, we just talked about it a few weeks ago. Did we? Hmm. I think even on the, the podcast. The new one? The one that you didn't have enough money for because you spent it all on being a professional athlete? Yes. So a brand new GT500? No, 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 no. no. Not, not, not a Mustang. Did we say it that? I think we that talked about it after. I was like, that's my dream. No, you listed it. You listed it. But when you listed it, you said a 2024. And I was like, they haven't made that car since like 2005. It's not even a. It's not even on their assembly line anymore. No, if I said the year, I would have looked to make sure that that was the nice. last year it was made. So it's a German-made car. Oh, the Carrera. Yeah, they haven't made... You, I, I'm pretty sure in the short, you were like 2024 Porsche Carrera GT. And I was like, I think they've made that car in like 20 years. No, whatever I said, they made. I promise. That car hasn't come out since 05, 05 I think. Isn't that what I said? No, you said a 2024 Porsche Carrera GT. I could tell you what. That's my favorite though. That's it. There was somebody I know that was that set the that set the speed record one year and that stopped was it early. It, that was early two thousands. Number two, if you want to know, is a uh, Aston Martin twenty twenty four Porsche nine eleven Carrera GTS MSRP one hundred and fifty thousand. Oh, you said nine eleven. I thought you meant the Carrera GT. Mm. Mm. Okay. I mean, it is a Carrera GT. It's just a not the nine eleven Carrera GT. Yeah, you said nine. I didn't. Okay. In my mind, I didn't hear the 911 part. Gotcha. So, different cards. Okay. I was going to say, I definitely made sure I looked to see that these things exist. Number two is that Aston Martin, uh, was it the Vulcan? That non-street legal, yeah. all carbon. Oh my God, that thing yeah. is fucking phenomenal. Is that all carbon? I think it is. Because the only all carbon I know is Lamborghini. Lambo. Yeah, there's only like, what, 20 of them or something? Uh, No, there's whatever element carbon is. Eight, I think. Oh, okay. Yeah. Something like that. No, it's it's six because it's called the Sesto Elemento, ah, which means yeah, yeah, sixth yeah. element. Yeah. And then they only made six of them. I remember seeing a guy showing one off in like a showroom in like Dubai or something. He was like, it's uh, 45 million. <laughs> I was like, yeah. okay, okay, okay. So I don't think, I think it's the, all carbon, but, but it is a carbon fiber body. Body. Okay. Yeah. Got it. Got it. Yeah, where, whereas the Lamborghini, literally everything it's you like touch everything is, is, is carbon. carbon. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Right. <clears throat> and that was it. Good job. Hell yeah. Okay. You did good. You did good. I don't think I. I don't think I did do good. You got the movie. You got the band. You got the video game. You got the food. Eventually, you got the athlete. Okay, I'll take it. I saw this thing the other day. Yeah, that was uh very funny, and I think it would be very successful. Okay, it was uh like you watch Bar Rescue, right? Nah, I've seen it. I'm more yeah, of a, not more, not you watch it. You've watched it. Like you know what I've it's about. It. Like the yeah. dude goes around failing bars basically brings them back yeah i'm more of a gordon restaurant impossible kind of guy but same same problem uh, yeah yeah so i saw this thing and it said that nick saban and bill belichick should go around the country repairing failing football programs <laughs> okay. like bar rescue style okay and i was like that would be that would be gold and what it said, fo- it, what level of football though it's, like it said it said any so it could be like youth high school professional <laughs> college like just, anything just bill coming in as a dick and like peewee football just like yeah <laughs> like hey come on kid you gotta step your game up right all right cut your sleeves off that hoodie what yeah <laughs> <laughs> all right well i want to jump back into the uh the country thing okay for you yeah um i wanted to see if you could guess i don't know if you want to do the countries or the ages i have four four things here Mm-hmm. that require like a, a legal age to do something. And I have the country that has the youngest age and the country that has the oldest age. I'm, give me, 
I'm going to guess the age. Give me the country. Okay. Yeah. So for employment, Mm -hmm. the youngest age is Sri Lanka. And what age is that? Huh? I'm going to say 10 years old. It is 10 years old. Wow. Good job. Okay. Good okay. job. Which nice. is sad. It's impressive you knew it, but it's sad, it's sad that it is 10 years old. Yeah. I have some stuff uh, that says made in Sri Lanka for sure. So. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, kid. Yeah. Uh, now, the oldest is the UAE. Mm, 20, 22. It's 21. 21. Okay. Wow. The next one is the age of consent. All right. Give me the country. The lowest age is Nigeria. I don't know if I want to answer this. <laughs> um, 15? It's 11. Oof. Yeah, Oof. that's rough. Oof. And the oldest is Bahrain. 20. 21. Damn, okay. Uh, driving is El Salvador for the youngest. Ooh, 14. It's 15. 15, okay. Which isn't really... I mean, much you of a s- discrepancy, I guess. Because you can start getting your learners in the U.S. at 15. At 50, yeah. Yeah. And then the oldest is Niger. 21? 23. Okay. Okay. That's right. That's, that sucks, yeah. Yeah. And then the last one I have is smoking. Oh, okay. Which the oldest is many places, and that's 21. Okay, but okay. can you guess where the youngest is? Where it or- is or what the age is? It's Egypt. Can you guess what it is? I'm going to say in Egypt, you got to be 12 years old to smoke. That's 14. 14. Damn. That's wild. Yeah, that's crazy. (laughs) Little eighth grader, ninth grader coming in to get a pack of smokes. Yeah. Mm. It's tax. They don't care. Fuck it. (laughs) Yeah. 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 Wow. Those are uh, scaringly shocking. Yeah. Can you guess the top five cities with the highest crime rate? Uh, I think I can get two or three. I think you can get most of them. Maybe okay. all of them. Okay. Uh, I'm going to go with Baltimore. Baltimore is number three. I'm go with Detroit. Detroit's number two. I'm going to go Chicago. No Chicago. I'm going to go LA. No LA. I'm going to go New York. No New York. Damn. So I only got Baltimore and Detroit? Yes. The um, other three are I'm going to go Atlanta. Not Atlanta. Okay. Um, you used to root for a team and won. Oh, St. Louis, yeah. St. Louis is number one. Is it um, really? Wow. Okay. Yeah. Number four, uh, you wouldn't think. How about, how about, um, but you wouldn't be surprised. San Antonio? Is it in no. Texas? Not in Texas. Is it in California? Nope. Okay. Um, give me Cleveland. Not Cleveland. Give me Philadelphia. Nope. Uh, both of them. You could associate with barbecue. Memphis. Memphis is number four. Um, Kansas City. Kansas City is number five. Okay, that was a good. That was a good. Uh, good little uh, clue. Hit there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Did I show you that that sign I made for the door, the front door? I don't think so. I'll have to send it to you. It's a. <clears throat> it's just like a slab of wood, and I put little hooks in the bottom. It's the one with the bullets on it. Yeah. Oh, you had that like day one. You had what? That sign. Day one of what? Moving over there. No, I had a, a picture of it that my aunt sent me and was like, you should make this. Either way, yeah, it's up. It says it's a bunch of bullets hanging from just a piece of wood with little hooks, and there's one empty hook, and it says, uh, one more solicitor and my wind chime is complete. This fucking dude walked up to the door the other day, saw him on the ring camera, read it, laughed at it, took a picture of it, and had the audacity to still fucking knock on the door. <laughs> That's when you need to get, you need to like put like a, just like a little Bluetooth speaker out there and just play like a shotgun, like cocking. <laughs> Either that or I need to like <laughs> Jimmy like a laser pointer that like points. Oh, that's good. Onto that's him. good. Uh huh. I like that. Fucking, fucking ridiculous. <laughs> yeah. I was like, are you fucking kidding me? Was he like a Jehovah's Witness or like what was nah, he? No, he was just selling some, I don't know, solar. I didn't answer the door. Probably solar panels or mm-hmm. security systems or some bullshit. I'm like, are you fucking kidding me, dude? Fucking stupid. <laughs> Smiled, laughed, took a picture. I'm a knock. Yeah. <laughs> and I think I, I think I have screenshots of it. I'll, I'll post them if I've got them. All right. So this week on Ask Reddit, David, I have, if animals could talk, which would be the rudest animal? My first thought is like cats. Yeah, right? That was mine. They're, they're, just, they're, like, just, at, 
They're a little dicks. assholes. Yeah. yeah. It's like, now nah, the world is mine. They're like yep. a like a wealthy white person with a BMW. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it's exactly right. Like, I'm better um, than you. Based on absolutely nothing. So here I have uh, mosquitoes. Why run when I need your blood to feed my one million babies? Okay. Yeah. Uh, geese. Mm-hmm. They're, they, they are right fuckers. <laughs> they are assholes. And possibly swans, too. I've seen them murder ducks. Yeah. Okay. Well, that's um, circle of life. Yeah. Yeah. Um, not circle of life. Uh, it's the fucking... I don't know. We'll go with the... No pun intended. That's the, the pecking order. Are you talking about, like... Just like nature. That's like the, what's the fucking, like these eat these, these eat these, these eat these. Yeah. Um. Too many, too many beers. Some. Um, what's um, the animal? Food chain. Yeah, yeah there you go. Food chain. Food that's, chain. That's what I'm okay. going for. <laughs> okay. Jesus oh, let me Christ. Try it again. That's just the food chain. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Christ. that was a great first answer, David. Yeah, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> um, this one said, um pigeons by far i'd imagine this with every head bop while walking excuse me excuse me excuse me excuse me excuse me i, I feel like they're not like got to get to rude. the pizza crust excuse me they're not rude Ooh. they're just like they don't know any better how about it's like i wouldn't i wouldn't say like a a homeless person asking for change is rude like that's just like if they were rude they wouldn't be like excuse me excuse me excuse me they'd be like get the fuck out of my way yeah um this person said dolphins i feel like they'd be sassy yeah, they're more like uh, registered sex offenders. Mm-hmm. Also, goats, they, they're always back-talking and getting sassy. They're always back-talking? <laughs> Tortoises, they're like 200 years old. They'd be racist as hell. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah. Okay. Uh, cats, without a doubt. Sometimes I find my own cat looking at me with such contempt, usually after I'm eating something he wants, and I imagine in his head he's saying, do you really need to eat that? <laughs> <laughs> yeah but is it that or is it like i want to eat that like you're eating that but i'd much rather be eating it so i'm gonna knock this shit off of the counters so you have to come pick yeah. it up and while you're picking it up i'm gonna run over and eat your food this is a good answer I, i'm sure you've seen this video back in the day honey badger don't give yeah. no fuck don't give no fucks yep. you seen that video yep honey badger don't care <laughs> that's a good one <laughs> um this one's pretty funny it says dogs because they're just going to come up to you and go, hello, hello, hello. Can I have some food? You didn't See, feed me. And then you say, yes, I did. They say, no, you forgot. Hello, hello. I love you. Hello. <laughs> that's, that's, that's annoying, though, not rude. Okay. How about um, squirrels? They're bitchy, bitter, brawling bastards. And that's on a good day. Yeah. Agreed. <laughs> birds. Most birds seem to be assholes. Um, chihuahuas, thousand percent. Um, a million percent. Wait, what the hell? I remember jacking off one time, and somewhere into this session, I spotted a gecko staring at me like it was judging me. I quit it, closed the tab, and felt disgusted with myself. And all this from a fucking gecko. It has affected me to the point where I can't jerk off without remembering its face and feeling ashamed. It was so fucking mean that even when I tried no fap, this fucker's face was in my head every time I got an urge. They're probably one of the most dickhead judgmental animals to ever exist. <laughs> I think that guy just needs to... He's got just, issues. Yeah, something going on there, dude. <laughs> what I would wonder, yours be? Definitely cats? Yeah. I'm just thinking of that guy. I wonder if like, every time he whacks it, he's like thinking about how much he can save on his car insurance by switching to Geico. <laughs> <laughs> like, I can't concentrate. I'm, I'm probably overpaying. He's thinking of Australian lizards. Yeah. <laughs> Hi, mate. Why are you whacking when you could be saving money? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, definitely cats. Definitely when you cats. you could be saving money. Yeah, yeah. yeah. They're, they're just assholes. They're big old, big old jerks. And if you're like, yeah. hey, cat's name, hey, come on over. Yeah. No, no. You come on over. Yeah, yeah, right. Like, what do you got? You got food? I'm still not going to come over. No. Tough shit. Yeah, fuck those fuckers. Mm-mm-mm. All right, and that was, was that I was like that. that was my ass credit. I like your um <laughs> your gecko. You have a good <laughs> good Australian accent. It's good when I'm when I'm feeling it. Sometimes it's British. Yeah, they're interchangeable. Yeah. Well, this week on my ask Reddit, I have what is one thing every guy has done 
but won't admit. Hmm. Has done, but won't admit, huh? If you need some inspiration, the first one I have is imagining saving the entire room from an attacker. Okay. Yeah. Uh Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Yeah, just being the hero. Yeah. Yeah, that's a good one. The next one is measure their penis with a ruler. Yeah, maybe if you have to admit that, I feel like it's implied. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Another one is tried to use the force to grab something, just to be sure. (laughs) (laughs) Just to be sure. No, I've definitely definitely never tried that, but that's pretty cool. No? Mine is... uh, not not the force, but like every once in a while, I'm like, maybe this wand actually works. <laughs> no, I'm like, I tried a Spider Man. I'm like, eh, eh, oh. still nothing. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I've never tried that. I just tried it now. It didn't work. Nah, damn. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, another one says my ex. <laughs> <laughs> that might be the best answer. That's really funny. Uh, another <laughs> another one that's a. Uh, a couple episodes too late is peed in a sink. Oh, come on. Yeah. I mean, maybe there's some people that won't admit that, but um, I don't know if there's more to this one. It says ordered their first white Russian at a bowling alley. So that's a Big Lebowski reference. You've never seen the Big mm, Lebowski. I have. Um, he only drinks white Russians and he's in a bowling league and it's a whole thing. Yeah. Okay. I don't know if there was like a like a human trafficking aspect to that <laughs> no no it's it's just him drinking white russians um which is what kalua and half and half i'm not even sure what it is is it bears there... <sighs> google i don't know i was gonna say comment in the comments let us know it's something in half and half um oh, okay so it's vodka some kind of coffee liqueur and then a creamer of choice milk half and half okay i've ever uh when I lived with my sister, and she would get home at like midnight after the parties, Greg was still over the house one night she got home, mm-hmm. and he was the only one. She was like, where is everybody? I want to drink. I'm like, let's fucking drink then. And she made us white Russians, and like 20 minutes later, Greg was out back, just like, passed out <laughs> on the steps. I was like, ooh. Next one I've got is, <laughs> is Googled how long an iPhone 6 is. How long an iPhone 6 is? Think about it. Yeah, I get it, but... I don't know, this might be an older thread. Yeah, no, it was newer. Maybe they still have an iPhone 6. I was going to say, it seems very specific. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Googled how long an iPhone is. <laughs> right, right, right. And the, the last one I've got is uh, shaving your mustache into a Hitler mustache just to see what it looks like before shaving it off. Yeah, definitely done that. I assume so. <laughs> <laughs> you went... <laughs> no, 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 no! I didn't, I, I didn't do the salute, but it was like a, oh, well, so that's how he lived. Okay, <laughs> but for me, I don't know. Something I've done that I like, or just in general, what something you've done yeah. that a guy wouldn't just, admit to? Yeah, I think one is I think that all guys do is you do that like after a, you're in bed or you're, it's been a long day, and like you do that like how vinegary are my balls today and you give it that yeah ball. that was that was a lot of them on there like just oh was to, it just to see what it smells like yeah yeah i think vinegar is the best description <laughs> okay well, <laughs> that's great uh, all right well we'll finish on that apparently jolene's trying to get under the the bed downstairs so all right well i'm gonna play rescue and uh hopefully there's none of those esports kids under the bed and i wouldn't imagine there are they're probably still in the closet yeah. yeah, yeah. If not, they're um, they're about to be. Yeah. Either way, fuck them. Fuck them. Peace. Okay. Bye. Okay. Bye. I was I was gonna. I don't know if you've ever uh, drank like kombucha. Uh yeah. I was gonna go. I was gonna go with that, but you uh, <laughs> you you beat me to the toilet. <laughs> it looks like that. Like. <laughs> Oh, I guess it was that bad yesterday. Okay. <laughs> yeah.